最近，内地军事网络上流传，中国新一代零五二 D 型导弹驱逐舰已经于二十八号下水。台媒称，大陆有可能将建造多达十。The Chinese Navy may be developing a brand new class of guided missile destroyer, the Type 052D, and would be producing several hulls to reinforce China's naval capabilities. According to a Global Times report, in the past few months, Chinese military websites were buzzing with news that a series of blurry pictures portray the 052D, which military watchers are comparing to the Aegis-equipped destroyers of the United States Navy. Earlier in August, two hulls were pictured at the China State Shipbuilding Corporation, at 160 meters long and 18 meters wide. One vessel was launched in the middle. Gust. The Type 052D is slightly larger than its predecessor, the Type 052C, and is believed to weigh in at just over 6,000 tons. Reports indicate the vessel will use a Type 346 active phased array radar system and the Type 518L band long-range radar. Meanwhile, the main 100 mm gun on the Type 052C, which has reportedly been unreliable, appears to have been replaced by a new PJ-38 130 mm gun. The vessel comes with a helicopter landing platform and close-in weapon system. According to China Military News, the new destroyers are equipped with two 32-unit vertical launch systems capable of launching HQ-9B air defense missiles, anti-ship and anti-submarine missiles. The original Ia-62 missile launchers used on the Type 052C do not appear to be present on the new destroyer. It has been speculated that the Type 052D could be equipped with a naval-style version of the DH-10 land attack cruise missile. According to China military watchers, as many as 10 Type 052 DDDGS could currently be under construction. If true, this would be a departure from the past practices of Chinese shipbuilders, which usually develop one or two hulls and launch a series of tests before entering mass production. Analysts have speculated that Chinese engineers may have become confident enough in the subsystems used on the new destroyer to risk accelerated development. Defense analysts expect the Type 052D to enter service in 2014.